Hi everyone, I'm Cinderay9. Welcome back to Let's Play Cthulhu Saves the World. Inside this treasure chest is three potions. I've been walking around a little bit just trying to find the next uh, treasure chest so we can move on. Hey, a brain squid! I don't think we've seen those yet this, uh, this playthrough. Squishy and gooey all over. Smash. Multi-strike. Silver Bullet's not quite strong enough, which is sad. Oh, October is stunned. Go away. <laughs> uh, not quite enough to kill. Wow, Molly resisted that. There we go. One fireball. Because again, <coughs> excuse me, they're weak to fire. Okay, laser barrier's been deactivated. Let's... Oh, there's a treasure chest right there. Hmm. Up and around. There's only a few treasure chests left to get. So, or not. Oops. Fireball. This will be fun. If I can kill both shielders... Dead. Before October goes. This is where October going last actually comes in handy. Ah, it still counts as though just one group. That's a shame. Dead. I guess because it was one group before she targeted. Or they were two separate groups before she targeted, I should say. That's a shame. <laughs> Let's grab this treasure chest. A vampire whip. A vampire whip. Dark plus 50%. Strength plus 70. Vit plus 70. Will plus 140. So quite the upgrade. She can have that. Fireball. Actually, yeah. Attack. Multi-strike and silver bullet. That not quite. Machine gun, machine gun. Let's just hope they don't click off screen and switch to shotgun or grenade launcher. Ha! <laughs> I don't think anybody's gonna get that joke. I don't know, when was the last time there we go. I'll give you just a little bit to think about it. Wonder when the last time a uh, time crisis came out. Like even in the arcades. Like I only know of uh, Time Crisis Four. Nope, oh, there went Molly. How are you not dead yet? Oh yeah, that's right. You have a ton of HP. <laughs> There we go. October is now level 20. Tornado attacks one group. Or Tempest, target all enemies. 256, wind attack. Um, I already have a target one group. Quite a few attacks like that. So I'm going to go ahead and take Tempest. Just so she does have an all hitting attack. Lone is now level 20. Mind over matter. Strength plus 75%, but magic minus 50%. Or she could just get plus 50 to her magic. <laughs> wow. Um. Wow, that would really just turn her into a attacking person. Um. And that's a huge boost, 75%. Even though I'd like to take the 50 magic, I'm tempted to take this anyway just to have it. <coughs> um. Mm. I'm gonna take the magic anyway. Um, my number matters not a bad choice at all <laughs> by any means. Let's see, where do I want to go now? 
Bye. Now, does that actually upgrade the Mawfish power? Magic? I sure hope so. <laughs> I know it'll uh, regen all will be upgraded, which is nice. Because I know it goes, that goes off magic. And we can Silver Bullet. Fireball. And not quite. 68 HP left. Dead. Um, anyway, I was talking about just to kill time. Um, time, uh, time crisis. I used to love those arcade machines. Some of you younger folks may not even remember arcade machines. <laughs> years. Years after this, this video comes out. Arcade machines may even, may not even be a thing. Which is really a shame okay, you all need to go away <laughs> we're not gonna do any damage uh, we can lightning sure but do any of you remember time crisis they that was neat I I like those uh, those games. By the way, Zap Tome. More magic, more will, but we lose that 50% to fire, which I'm using a lot right now, so. Uh, Time Crisis was a lot of fun. It was also extremely hard, but it was a lot of fun. <laughs> I enjoyed those type of games. Um, Time Crisis, Area 51. Ooh, 3,500 gold. They were... They're a lot of fun to me. I wasn't great. I was really good at Area 51. Um, they were. I don't know. I just enjoyed playing them. Wow, it did not do that much. What happened? Dead. Umi is now level 20. Curse targets one enemy, adds insanity. Or True Knight. Targets all enemies, adds insanity, resistance at minus 50. So it's just curse one enemy, or add insanity and re uh, lower the resistance on all enemies. I'll take that. Molly is now level 20. Plus one hit to attack. I've been waiting for that. Or 40 MP. As much as I would love to have the 40 MP, I've been waiting for this. <laughs> to help her basic attack. Because she doesn't have a lot of MP. I know, taking the MP would have remedied that, but eh. <laughs> what was I going to do? Equip the flame tome. Let's see, which way is it? Is this where we. Spaceship 4! I don't want to go there yet. <laughs> Uh, six battles left. There should be a save point over here. Yes, I do remember that correctly. Anybody close to leveling? <clears throat> Not particularly. There should be a... There should be a... Um, another treasure chest here somewhere. At least I thought so. Tell you what. Save some time on this episode. I'll cut here because I don't think anybody will level on screen. And if they do, I'll go over it then. But we'll see what... I'll look around and see if I can find any more treasure chests. So see you in a second. Alright, welcome back. No more fights. The treasure chest that was up north was 1-ups. So we've grabbed that. Look, I don't think I missed anything else. I... Went around the ship, looked around, took all the fights, and... Hi! Intruders! I was hoping you would show your faces here. We're not afraid of you! You should be. 
I'm not one of your ordinary genetically engineered cow soldiers. I have been mutated by the potent U virus and integrated with some of the most advanced weaponry this side of the Gamma Quadrant. I am the ultimate killing machine. <laughs> the U virus, huh? <laughs> What, since it's higher in the alphabet, would that make it better than the T-Virus? I maybe. So, we need to watch out. Now, maybe he may even have a rocket launcher. Who knows? Wrong! The ultimate killing machine is me! If you beg, I'll let you claim second place, though. Hmm. Huh. So, were these three guys and one of- So, there were these three guys, and one of them said that the other guys only told lies, but the other guy said- <laughs> What are you doing? It's a robot! I'm gonna make it self-destruct with the paradox! That works on a lot of things, Molly. Great thinking, but being part cow- not all robot, I don't think that's gonna work. I highly applaud the effort, though. Too late! Here it comes! Or we just don't have enough time. Who knows? You Bovinator approaches! Boss battle! 24,000 HP, one of many later based letter based mutations. <laughs> that's so true. Like I said, the T virus earlier. Yeah. I wonder what the U stands for. You know, to you. Hmm. I don't know, we'll figure it out later. Let's get started. Fem Fatal. To boost everybody's stats. Hmm. Let's. I don't want to reach in yet. Slow is always a good option. And Moon Howl. <laughs> you already did 100 to October. That's a problem. You can go slower now. Everybody stats up 20%. Now why I waited on the region all was for that reason. So we get more out of it. Uh, you don't... Hmm... Deadly Kiss? We'll use Mawfish. And we have Dark Strike. Let's go ahead and use it. Huh, your Venom Claw actually does more. Okay, change of plans. We will instead... Fragile. We'll still go with the Mawfish. Dark Strike. And we'll use Venom Claws instead. Your poison, dark strike, summon a mawfish, your less resistance levels drop. Quit hitting October. <laughs> Alright. Now we can get started with October beginning her lightning barrage. Heal October. Dark strike and silver bullet. Nice. All Elona is going to be doing now is healing. <laughs> He's got a lot of damage. No, didn't mean to do that. Hmm. Jeez, you're going to start hitting really hard. Not sure if Insanity is a good option. Will Lightning heal Umi? Dark Strike and... Yeah, Silver Bullet. Because it goes straight through defense. Okay. Since we slowed it down, at least we go first. So as long as he can't one-shot the party members, we should be okay. Also, as long as he doesn't uh, throw out some really powerful attack. Hmm. I better throw Regen all on. Dodge and Silver Bullet. Because of that, I figured you had machine gun. <laughs> 158 points of damage to October, 144 points of damage 
to Molly. If anybody gets hit with all three, all four shots at once, think they're going down. This battle needs to end soonish. I think I'd be better off with Fireball than Lightning. The Lightning was mainly to actually get some combo points. Hmm. Heal, October. Dark Strike and Silver Bullet. Yeah, there we go. Fireball is a better option. <laughs> and the region's not enough. Um, how much HP do you have left? Not a lot. Fireball. Heal. Umi. Dark Strike. Silver Bullet. There we go. I'm fine with you just doing one attack. Fireball, heal Molly, and... Uh, one more turn. And that's that. All or nothing. 11,055 EXP, 5,500 gold, and October levels up, which I'm super happy about. Level 21, 30 strength, 40 magic, or 30 HP, 30 MP. Hmm. Tempting. But I'm going to take the strength and magic. Mostly for the magic. Alona is now level 21. Drain plus. Adds life drain ability to regular attack or 60 magic. You need the magic. I'm not using our basic attack that much anyway. I mean, it's now level 21, 10 to all stats, or 30 MP. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? We'll take the 30 MP. I think now's a good time to take that. Uh, Molly is now level 21. A bigger berry or a, a quake spell that targets all enemies. It's a combo finisher, but I didn't like quake that much before, so I'm just gonna stick with a uh, bigger berry. You may have destroyed me, but I shall have my revenge. Initiate ship self destruct sequence. I was wondering how the ship was gonna crash in this. What do I do? I'm too beautiful to die! Molly pulls out her cell phone and pushes a few buttons. Quick! Everyone into the cell phone portal! Everyone into the cell phone portal! You escape through the portal just before the spaceship crashes into the river below. I'm still alive! Molly? Yes? If you have a device that creates portals, why haven't we been using it? There's my girl October. Just at it again. Super smart. That's a really good question. Why haven't we been using it? That's easy. I don't want to waste the battery. Okay, fair. Oh. No, that, that's a legitimate reason. I understand. Right, my cell phone battery is pretty bad at this point. It just does not hold the charge for long. I understand. Yes! You've saved the world! By proxy, that means I've saved the world! I'm a true hero! There you go. There's Cthulhu. Not exactly. When you're dealing with proxy hero work, it takes a lot more acts of heroism than normal for it to count. Okay, this explanation actually makes more sense. Like, I agree with that. That, yeah. I'm okay with that. <laughs> the crash spaceship has opened up a new path. Onward to the next city and further acts of heroism. Yeah, sorry, Cthulhu. I gotta go with the narrator on this one. When you work via proxy, it takes more than if you were to do it yourself. Oh, well. Yeah, doesn't want to drain the cell phone battery. That's fair. So, now that we can head south... Ape Docker... Ape Docker? Just Docker. No, Doctor. And Spira Knights. 
Not just pal palette swap, sw not just palette swapped. Honest. I'm trying to talk too fast and just meshing all the words together. Blood wave. And you're dead. Huh? Yep, Umi's gone. <laughs> So she used all that HP for Blood Wave. There should be a cave here. Which we already went in. There's a cave here. Audi 3 approaches. Feed me on long. No. Um. Smash. Blood Wave. Hmm. You're done. Oh, you're weak to fire. That makes sense. I mean, you are a plant. Bye. Inside here, we have the Graveyard of Memories. Let's see if there's any treasures for this place we can grab. Patricia, we uh, Patricia Wise got into the Dark Arts, then the Dark Arts got into her. Marlon Doyle, it's our funny joke here. I think these are the same, so... Money isn't everything, but I'll let him buy this swell burial plot. Ballard, inspiration to us all. Yeah. These are all the same. Okay. Mummy approaches Black Widow. Smash. Blood Wave. You may be asking why I'm doing Blood Wave. It's just in case the fireball's not enough. Power doubles. Well, we're just gonna say no to that. Nope, October does enough. So good. So good. So we don't have to worry about that anymore. We can focus on killing the other enemies. And even as a corpse. Yeah. I think they're all the same. Necro Leader. Gets fireballed. Attack. Yeah, you don't have a lot of MP. Molly, that's a problem. And that's it. I was just checking. I figured everybody would be close to a leveling up again. A vampire! Does it sparkle in the sun? <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> you should be weak to fire, though. Bet you're not. <laughs> I'm gonna silver bullet you anyway. Nope, you're not. So can't one fireball the vampires? Have to keep that in mind. I just want to make sure. Was this, uh... The one where October had her own uh, grave. Yeah, October. Rest in peace. Ah! October must be a ghost! And this is why I wanted to look for it. Figured the dialogue would be different. I mean, we have different people. <laughs> Don't be silly. It's a necromancer tradition. Having your own tombstone is supposed to bring you good luck. Are you sure? Let me pinch you. Ouch! Now I believe you. Thank you so much for your trust. <laughs> Poor October. Fireball. Nope, that's not going to kill any of you. Maybe with the blood wave. With it. Nope, not quite. Well, that's a problem. Tempest. Attack, attack. Ow! Forgot about the whole double attack power. Don't know how that slipped my mind, considering how important it is. Uh, no. Just making sure there's no more dialogue. And we saw these graves in Cthulhu Saves the World, so... Fireball the mummies, which I know we can take down. 
attack, attack. Fireball, and then fireball again. And that should be it. Easy enough. Only five battles left. Then we can go looking for the treasure chest, if there are any in here. No, I'm not going to try to examine this tombstone ten times. <laughs> I've done that already. Fireball. Attack. I'd be upset if it did something in this, in this one, though. <laughs> and dead. Because I didn't do anything to Cthulhu Saves the World. Because yes, I tried anyway, for those of you that don't remember. Alright. Fireball. Attack, attack, attack. That goes them. Hit it, and fireball. October's now level 22. She can get 30 strength or focus, which double spell power for next turn only. Yes, I'll take focus. Alona is now level 22. Shield him, which gives one ally 50% uh, vitality, 50% will, or shield him, which gives everybody plus 25% to vitality and will. We're going to go shield him, the target all ally version. That will come in handy. I like taking less damage. 9,999 gold. Nothing there. Uh, fireball. Ah! Tober got stunned because of the vampires. Oh, there went Molly. That's a problem. Okay, we should be fine now. There we go. Okay. Anything up here? When we went through this with Cthulhu, there were a few treasure chests. Dead. And dead. There's one. Think this one's the boss. We'll save real quick. Save here. By the way, Chapter 6 Santa? Are we gonna see Santa? Now I'm excited. <laughs> Though I have a good idea who it might be. Chat. Molly, does that cell phone of yours do anything besides make portals? Good question. It can play Angry Infinity Ninja HD. That sounds intriguing. Give me that. Ha! I beat your high score. No! That's a shame. I mean, it didn't take that long to beat her high score either, unless we just, like... Fast forwarded to Alona beating her high score. Uh, there's nothing like that. As a gamer, I fully sympathize with Molly on that. When you work really hard to get a high score and you're super proud of it, and then like one of your friends just beats it. I understand. Snake whip. Oh, good, no fight. Aw, it's not as strong though. It does get plus one hit, but. I'd rather have the extra defense and the 50% dark. Oh well. At least we have it. The plus one hit would come in handy if you've been taking a lot of the strength ups for uh, October. Because that plus one hit could let her do a lot of damage. Fireball. Dead. Umi is now level 22. She can get 40 strength or 30 magic. 40 strength. Molly is level 22. She can get 40 HP and 30 strength or 
40 HP and 30 agility. Ooh. I'm gonna take the strength as much as I would like to take the agility. She's at 315, so she's still pretty fast. She's the fastest in the group, anyway. Um. Oh, there's a treasure chest. Two potions. All right, all the battles with this place are done. So what I'm going to do is... Oh, there's a treasure chest. Save. I think this one has the boss. But I think I'll save it for next time. Next time, we'll fight the boss. Or if there's no boss in this treasure chest, I'll just snag the treasure chest and we'll leave. And we'll head to our next destination. And really begin chapter 6. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you had a lot of fun. I'm Cinder 9 Remember to shoot for the stars. And take care, everyone.